In the heart of our communities, every minute something extraordinary is happening. A group of stories that touch the soul as the sun sets on the horizon. In today's bulletin, we acknowledge 20 learners who won the second edition of Beyond Limits Scholarship Program by Connect Internet Company. We also tell you of the Kasarani building that has sent scares among its dwellers following frightening cracks. And it's a happy first birthday to connect Food Plus e-commerce store. Stay tuned as we get right into it. This is Connect Community News. I am Daniel Timadi. Now, 20 students from various learning institutions were celebrated for their academic excellence as they became beneficiaries of the second edition of the Connect Beyond Limits Scholarship Program. And as our reporter Sarah Ngogi reports, the scholarship promises to go a long way in ensuring a smooth learning for students, specifically during these challenging economic times. The students, accompanied by their parents and guardians, were presented with school fee checks worth a total of 15,000 Kenyan shillings and shopping essentials each. Speaking at the handover ceremony, through Zoom, Connect CEO Mr. Tiger reaffirmed Connect's commitment to recognizing and appreciating the hard work and dedication of these exceptional students. On to the reason why we are all here, a massive congratulations to each and every one of you. This is your day. It's a fantastic to see so many excited faces. Your energy and enthusiasm light up the room. Before we go any further, I'd like to uh, take a moment to express our immense gratitude to two special individuals, Mona and her daughter Katie. Their incredible generous donation of 150k has been instrumental in bridging this scholarship to life. Mr. Johnston Namusasi, sales manager at Connect, commended the parents for their loyalty as customers of Connect Internet and Connect Food Plus. He urged them to serve as excellent ambassadors for their company. The congratulations for getting the, the scholarship. Uh, it's something that uh, we are happy to do. It's something that we are grateful we started. So a little bit of a background story. Um, Last year, look na online classes, and in the process of doing those online classes, a lot of parents when you are kwa na for those online classes, were requesting for us to help them in terms of uh, scholarship because uh, they felt like their kids were improved. Like uh, some of the classes we are doing were maths and a little bit of English and global sort of global tour where they were having virtual tour to learn about other cities, other countries. And uh, it upgraded their grades. Uh, some of them went to school, did pretty well. But Wakakwana challenged school fees. On his part, Mr. Shafi Abdallah, the social impact manager at Connect, emphasized the importance of collective collaboration between parents, learners, and companies like Connect. To Lianza Imradi this year, first term, and uh, our aim is to be able to connect with the community in many ways that we can as a company so that to ensure at least we empower the community the much we can. So to Lionelea to answer a scholarship, beyond limit scholarship. To Lianza this year, na ili tuweze kusaidia our customers and our clients when you wanna connect so that we feel kuna benefit. Apart from just using internet, Pia kuna kampuni ambayo ni connect inatusaidia sisi kama, kama jami. Parents and learners alike express their gratitude for consideration in the scholarship. So I got the message and then I saw uh, your daughter has been selected. I was happy. I was happy and uh, I just had to close my schedule at that time, come back home. And in fact, my wife had received the message also. So it was like she called me and said, umeona? Nikambe, yes. Uh, we didn't even have the, the, the shopping. So you see, uh, uh, things come in bundle, and uh, I'm very much uh, thankful for Connect. And about the scholarship, I really appreciate and I feel good about it. And it's, you guys are God sent, and I really thank you so much for being there for us. Wanajua kama inaisakuwa ukweli ama uongo, but kwa leo, nimeamini I'm one of the students who have benefited from this Connect scholarship program 
and as, as the way my name is large, I want to assure, connect, and everyone who is watching me that I will bring good grades. It wasn't an easy, an easy journey, but I started applying on, on Friday, but it got submitted on Sunday. I was almost losing hope, but here we are. He managed to get the scholarship, so we really thank you for that opportunity. I didn't, I didn't know where I, I could even get that school fees. But now I've got it. I will go and start very hard. Mr. Anthony Karioki, the General Operations Manager at Connect, asserted that Connect Beyond Limits Scholarship will not only ease the financial burden of education, but also encourage these students to aim higher and work diligently toward their academic goals. The main purpose of us being here ni Masomo. Sinikweli? Masomo, tunasema diofuguo. The key to to success. Sindio? So kwanza kabisa kwa, kwa nafunzi. Ni wambie, first thing we need to do is to thank uh, the Almighty God. Kwa sababu ya kutupa nafasi, ya kuwa among the privileged wenye wako shule. Kwa sababu, huko nje badu kuna watoto wegi sana, wenye wanatamani sana kukua shule, lakini wajapata nafasi. Sinikweli? Serangugi, Connect News. Connect Food Plus, an e-commerce platform under the umbrella body of Ahadi Wireless with its brand name Connect is one year old now. Connect Food Plus held its first birthday celebration at Connect Zimmerman Hub in a fun field event attended by among other people suppliers of various commodities including the Mombasa Maize Millers and the Ima Milk. Our reporter Wainina Dennis attended the celebrations and filed this report for us. The highlight of the evening was the cake cutting that marked the very first anniversary of the Connect Food Plus. <laughs> the festivities included a drilling spin game where lucky winners walked away with coveted prizes including water dispensers, woofers and smart TVs, ensuring fairness and excitement among all participants. Mr. Jeremy Akuria, the operations manager of Connect Food Plus, took the stage to express his gratitude for the remarkable transformation the platform has undergone in just one year. It's a nice journey of which uh, you have in there's ups and downs. You know, sometimes we used to sell like 7,000 shillings in one day, and uh, we were planning to have a bash with the team that led to Moza 7K. It was achievement kubwa sana. Siku moja on a Saturday, we sold 100 on 31st August. We sold 101,000 sales. Karibu sisi wote tuende weekend ba. Na pia, customer is not always right at every time. Show the customer the real thing. Tunauza hii hivi na hivi na hivi. Oda yangu itanifikia leo, apana. Itafika kesho kwa sababu kumioda past the time. Give the customer the right information. And with that, uh, at the end of the time, uh, we are going to achieve a lot, and we are going to have a lot of trust with our customers. Everyone is a sales agent, apart from the champs. I'm a sales person. Jimmy is a sales person. Hardy Wireless CEO Mr. Tiger, with some sense of nostalgia, recalled the countless sleepless nights he and the entire team endured to diverse strategies and design products that would cater to the needs of underserved communities. As I talk around, uh, look around this room tonight, Memories of the past year flood back. Remember those nights, the ones where our office lights were the only one glowing in the city, where our meeting rooms buzzed with passionate discussions, animated debates, and of course, the occasional laughters. Our operations team, the heartbeat of our mission, processed over 60,000 orders in the past year. And within those orders, a staggering 210,000 items. Think about that. 
That's 210,000 items that made lives better, brighter, and a bit easier. Several speakers at the event fondly remembered with fondness the strenuous efforts invested during the initial stages of setting up an e-commerce model that will later become Connect Food Plus. <laughs> Then I'll take photos and post for that. Then we call that. That is how you begin. Then we went on to farm and I'll collect and all that. Then, you know, we go food plastic as a river. And we spent long hours in the night trying to launch food plastic. At some point in time, uh, we went home at 3 in the morning. Not forgetting that we were supposed to have a meeting at 7 <laughs> on the same same day. At first, it was rolled out as a, a way of us uh, getting things at a good price. And it evolved so fast. And right now, I think we are at the top of the table in the internet center. As Connect Food Plus embarks, on its second year of operations, it pledges to deliver an even more seamless shopping experience to their customers. They are also committed to supporting Kadogo businesses, thereby uplifting local enterprises. Happy birthday, Connect Food Plus. For Connect News, I am Wainena Dennis. Moving on to some stressing town of events, the Kasharani residents living in the Kiwa apartments have been forced to vacate their houses due to a crack that has appeared as a consequence of the construction of a neighboring building. The building started showing signs of collapsing on Monday and had started sinking, thus the immediate evacuation of the residents. So at 1 a.m. last night, 1 a.m., I had we had shouts like to leave the building, it's cracking. So when we came down, the building had cracked in the middle, like from the gate all to the end. It had cracked. So we were told to evacuate. Ah, the landlord came and told us nothing is wrong. We should just stay. Nothing is wrong. It's just a little crack. But. When you look at it, it's not Well, that's all we had prepared for you in this Connect Community News Bulletin. Until next time, it's a goodbye from us. And thank you for the team that made this bulletin possible. I am Daniel Kimavi.